This is Nathan Morley with another video on the LEGO Disaster Refuse Collector. Well, a lot of things have changed on the machine. Um, yeah, most of this work was done over my Christmas break a few months ago. I'm just, well, a few weeks ago, I'm just now getting around to making a video about it. So, up in the middle of the machine here, what we have is this large arch. Uh, the arch supports the uh, three little infrared receivers up, yeah, up under there. Um, it also supports the forward pair of outriggers, which are driven by, well, through the shafts along here, by the motor, right in there. Then that motor also drives uh, this system. Uh, there are five switches here, there are five switches on the other side, but what these do is they will control which functions are being controlled when. So these uh, five switches here uh, they all connect up to their little receivers, so do the five switches on the opposite side. But the different electrical pieces, the motors and things, will each be connected to one of these switches. Now, on one side will be all of the functions relating, relating to the drive of the machine. And then on the opposite side will be all the functions relating to the big excavator, which will be put on top here at a later date. Um, so then as the outriggers are deployed, these switches will actually switch. So on the opposite side the switches are open and on this side they're closed. So when the outriggers go down these ones will, when the outriggers are fully down then these will be closed and on the opposite side they will be open. So during the outrigger extension process the vehicle will switch between driving and digging. That's actually quite neat. Then on the back here we have the aft pair of outriggers, and these guys right here, they are driven by oh, a pair of linear actuators down in there, um, similarly to the ones up front. Um, and everything's all driven by the single motor. Um, for now, it's actually exceedingly slow, and I hope to change that in future. So, here, let me just fire it up. So, going down. And then all four are extending at the same time. These ones are a little bit, uh, they're about one square elevation-wise behind the ones in the front. So the ones in the front um, touch down first. But then that means the motor has to work against the clutch gears um, up here. And you see the switches have completely switched. I actually still need to install a stop to prevent that. So the front ones are down and the motors are very bogged down. So now the rear what? Now the rear legs are down, and and if I try fidgeting with it, the machine is actually extremely stable. So now bringing the outriggers up. See, so yeah, what I would like to do is uh, leave this motor running these switches and the forward outriggers. Then install a second motor, a little M motor, in the back there to run the rear legs. Then maybe also gear them up so the whole operation takes place faster. Then one final thing I did is install the little battery pack here, which is in place of the uh, fuel tank on the real truck. And there's one also on the opposite side, and those are there to provide power for the transmission control system, which isn't installed yet. So hopefully more progress will be made by the time I make the next video. So, see you later.